Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Power Toys. First of all, let's go ahead and install it. So if I just search Google for Power Toys and click on the releases link, and then scroll down a little bit, you'll see this MSI link. So I'm just going to install that. Just let that download. Okay, now it's downloaded, let's click open. Just click next. Let's click finish. Let's close this down. I'm going to right click on the icon on the bottom tree and click settings. So here we can see Power Toy settings. We have different utilities. We've got fancy zones. File Explorer Preview, Image Resizer, Keyboard Manager, Power Rename, Power Toys Run and a Shortcut Guide. So let's start off with Fancy Zones. So if you have a, a large screen or a kind of medium sized screen you can launch Fancy Zones to kind of customise the screen and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I launch Zones Editor, let's make this, I'm going to use my laptop here, not a large monitor, and I'm going to make it three columns. So this is how you customise the layout of the screen. Uh, and let's go apply. So now I have three columns. Let's just open up. Let's just say, let's open up Chrome. And if I hold shift down, I can then drag that into that one. Let's say we open up Visual Studio Code. That's going to open up in that one. And let's just say we open up. Paint, Microsoft Paint. And then we'll hold shift down and we can drag that into this third column. So that's Fancy Zone, and I imagine this in a big large monitor. But you can have your email in the middle, or Visual Studio, or Visual Studio Code, or SQL Server in the middle, your email on the right, and Google on the left. I use this quite a lot, and it is fantastic. It's one of my favourite things about Power Toys. Okay, so let's see what's next. Let's just close these three windows, and let's bring up settings again. So next one's File Explorer Preview. So here you can see that you've got a File Explorer preview. These settings allow you to manage your Windows File Explorer custom preview handlers. So let's bring up a folder and we'll show you what that means. So if I drag this in... So I've got to C... Let's go to Power Toys Demo, created earlier. So we've got an SVG preview explorer. So if I go into here and click on if I do view, and make sure I've got the preview pane on, if I click on one of these, I can now preview SVG files. It's quite nice. And the other one is Markdown. You can preview Markdown files. So if I click on the Markdown files folder, and then click on these files, you'll see what it's going to look like. So this is a Markdown preview as well. And that's just if you've got it in Windows Explorer, and you have the preview pane open. Okay, so that is the File Explorer preview. The next one I want to show you is Image Resizer. So here you can basically image resize lots of images. So if I go back to here, and I go back to, let's go back to the Power Toys demo folder, and I go to the resize images. Let's just say I want to resize um, all of these images, for example. Let's just grab them all. Just right click and go to resize pictures. And I can say I want them small. I can have a custom fit. I can make the pictures smaller but not larger. I can resize the original pictures. Don't create objects. Uh, let's do that and let's just make it yeah, 1024 by 1640, sorry. And resize it. And that goes off and resizes these images for me. So that's the image resizer. Next up is the Keyboard Manager. Now, I haven't really used the Keyboard Manager, but you can remap keys. The one thing I didn't really point out is, for each of these, you can click on the Module Overview. And that will take you to the website with information. And I'll also show you a little video playing um, and demo what it's going to do. So let's just have a quick look at that. Okay, so you can see the Keyboard Manager down here. This will be like a wee video that plays and shows you how to, how to use it. So basically you can copy and paste and you get the keyboard and you can set up all sorts of 
custom keyboard mappings. So that's keyboard manager quickly. Okay, so next up is power rename. So again, you can rename images here, you can rename files. So if I bring up Windows Explorer again, and I browse back to that folder, Power Toys Demo, let's just rename these images. So let's just say I want to make them all, let's do view details this time. So they're all PNGs, if I want to rename them all to be JPEGs for whatever reason, I can go down to Power Rename. I can search for star.png and replace with star.jpg. You can do all sorts of excludes and renames and all sorts of different stuff here and here. But if I just do rename, that'll rename all of these to JPEG files. The Power Toys run is my favourite. So Power Toys run is basically a quick launcher. So if I want to launch something quickly, I can do alt space and type Visual Studio Code or even if I just do Visual. Studio, click on that, if I do PowerPoint, and click on that, and you'll notice here that you can do run as administrator or open file location. So if I want to run PowerPoint as an administrator, I can just click on that. So this is pretty cool. And I just took alt space to get rid of it. And the last one to show is the shortcut guide. So if you're in Windows and you want to look at the shortcut guide, I'm going to change the theme to dark, but if I then minimise it and just hold the Windows key down for a couple of seconds, I get the short, oh, let me do that again, couple of seconds, hold down, you get all the Windows shortcut keys, and I'm still holding the button just now, and if I just let go of the button, it goes away, and again, you'll see if you do the Windows key, hold it down again, you can see the number of apps, so if I do 1, or press 2, so if I do Windows 2, it'll open up uh, Visual Studio Code, let me just try that. Visual Studio Code is now open. Okay, so that's Power Toys in a nutshell. Please download and try it. Let me know if you have any feedback on this video. And please hit subscribe in the bottom right hand corner. Thank you.